This week, I got to collaborate with the awesome team over at Lightform to try out their new LF2+. Taking these ordinary white models and using the first sound reactive AR projector to create some magic. This is Painting with Light by Matt Maldonado. Let me show you how I did it. I started this project off in Illustrator, creating all the line art and layered files that I would then take into my Glowforge to laser cut. I then took the line art into Photoshop, where I created elevation renderings that I could use for projection later. I really wanted to create three different shadow boxes that paid homage to some of my favorite films. I'm sure you can guess which one this is. For this awesome Back to the Future piece, you know I had to make the DeLorean time travel a bit. Going from Hill Valley in 1985, to Hill Valley in 1885. It was then time to work on one of my favorite films of all time, Jurassic Park. Here I'm working in Photoshop, creating the awesome T-Rex footprint and the iconic ripple effect that happens in the water when the T-Rex is near. Once all the line work and color elevations were complete, I sent it over to my Glowforge to help me cut out the material. Knowing I was doing this layered effect, I chose to use matte board, something a little sturdy that would hold up over time. Once all the pieces were cut out, it was then time to assemble the shadow boxes that the art pieces would fit into. Using more matte board, some aluminum foil, and layering some cellulose clay over to add some texture to this piece. I then laid in all the matte board frames I built into the shadow boxes. Now it's time to just assemble the puzzle pieces of layers I created in Illustrator, adding each piece on top of each other to create something cool. Once all my white models were complete, just a matter of hanging them up, turning the projector on, and having some fun. So for this project, Lightform was cool enough to send me over their new LF2 Plus projector. Wanted to see what I could do with it. It's a super awesome machine, super easy to use and just a lot of fun to play with. So this awesome projector has a camera that's actually built in. Right now it's sending out patterns that's actually mapping the artwork for me. It makes it then really simple to go in and create masks and points that I want the light or my object to be. Here you can see that I'm actually making a mask from scratch and then altering it and changing it to fit perfectly. And of course, you know, the boss had to step in, make sure I was working. So this awesome tool easily allows you to projection map really anything. You simply go in, create a mask over the object that you want to projection map, and that's it. You can then go in and drop in some of the awesome effects that they have pre-built into the software or you can upload some custom files that you create on your own. For the masks, I tend to do a simple quick mask, then go in and tighten it up to truly map the object. Overall, it took about four hours to create all the layers and masks that I needed to complete my piece. It's just about going in, moving the light pixel by pixel to perfectly map your object. I then took my rendered files into After Effects to create this awesome animation and reveal. 
I wanted these white models to feel as though they were actually creating themselves. Sort of this hand-drawn look before the color reveals. I learned this with some awesome tutorial that I saw on YouTube. I'll link that in the description. Once I was done creating all the animations, I then went back into the Lightform software to place the animations on each mask that I created earlier. It was just a matter of loading the files in layer by layer, then placing over the masks, then adjusting to fit. As I mentioned before, I wanted my Back to the Future piece to go from 1985 to 1885 with the use of just projection. I thought it'd be a fun nod to it. I then went back into Photoshop to create my layers for Slimer as I wanted an animation of him through the windows being chased down avoiding the proton blasts. I thought it'd be a pretty fun show. Once the layers were complete, I then took him into After Effects to create the animation. And just like I did for the others, I then went back into the Lightform software and loaded in the files. This particular shadow box had two masks one for the entire building, and one set for just the windows. This is where I then lay in the two separate video files to give me two separate effects. Once I was done loading in all of my After Effects files, I then started working on my logo. Here I used some of the awesome plugins that they have built into the Lightform software. It's super easy to just plug and play, some awesome graphics and fun video effects that they have built in. I simply layered it, landed on something I liked, then published the final show to see the magic happen. As I mentioned earlier, this LF2 Plus is the first sound reactive AR projector, so I thought I'd play with that for a little while. It's kind of awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And another big thanks to the Lightform team. Really appreciate you guys. If you guys like this new format, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I really appreciate the support. Thanks, y'all.